I, hey, Greg wonders a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm wondering again today. The brain's very active. Contemplates. Under the umbrella of what do you do all day? Menace, you and I have talked about this certain times in our lives. Yeah. Like you see a, a TV commercial for hot dogs, for example, and they say the uh-huh. National Pork Council <laughs> believes right. that these are... <laughs> So, uh, so let's say you work for the National Pork Board. And you're the director or something right, like that. Right, or, yeah. or, or just work for it. Or, or yeah, you're just yeah. an employee. And it's 9 in the morning. You roll up, get your cup of coffee. You go to your National Pork Board desk. <laughs> sure. And then what? What do you do all day? Well, yeah. I assume like the the people that go to like factories, they check for quality control. But I'm thinking sure. like- That's the, the factory. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why I want to take the factory part out of it and just like the office, the office yeah, worker. Yeah, you work in the stuff. office of the <laughs> National <laughs> Pork Board. The <laughs> pork board. <laughs> yeah. And there's yeah. also a National Beef Council. Sure. Like, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, hey, I got a buddy at the Pork Board. I'm on the Beef Council. Well, maybe your job uh, is to come up with like beef propaganda. Yeah, you're raising beef awareness. Right, right, right. right. Beef, beef marketing. Commercials. Yep. There's a National Council of Urban Indian Health. Okay. Urban Indian Health. Okay. Yeah, what would you do all what day? What would you do all day? Every once in a while, like somebody will walk up. To, you're right, because every once in a while, somebody will walk up to us at an event. And they go, oh, man, hey, here's my car. Reach out to me if you ever need anything. And I look at what they do, and I, I don't that's get a it. thing? Huh? Right. Yeah they, yeah, they print up business cards for that job. And I'm like, well, number one, what would I ever need right. your right, yeah. help on anything? Like, you know, I'm not an urban Indian. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you know? Right, uh, right. I mean, then- thank you for listening to the show, but- uh, or other people, when they say, like, hey, so what do you do? Oh, I'm a, and they have these, like, jobs that are so generic. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm a consultant. That's always There's, what I'm yeah. I, I know multiple people I went to school with all ended up working for Deloitte, which is a giant consulting firm. Right. No idea what they do. <laughs> these are no engineers idea. and scientists. What, what are you I'm, consulting? One of my old friends straight out of college got a job as a consultant. Mm-hmm. And I said, a consultant. So what do you do? Oh, I consult companies. Okay. 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 Neat. okay great. What does that mean? Cool. I now, no I, I, I can help you a little bit because I worked in college for an environmental consulting firm. Mm-hmm. And what that meant is we outsource our environmental testing to you. So, like, let's say you're a factory that makes styrofoam or paint or whatever. Right. And you have certain EPA requirements for your emissions and uh-huh. how you handle your waste. And you just don't want to deal with it. You don't want to have to hire yeah. the person. So, you'll say, hey, we'll pay this consulting firm. So you're a middle in, person. Do all our paperwork, yeah. do all our testing. Right. You know, kind of, you know, like they have like HR firms now for people, like if you have a small right. company, I don't yeah. want to handle an HR person. So I'll and hire then this it, firm to consult. But and like, then, I, you know, people get so in the weeds with what they do that they assume that everybody knows what that means. Oh, yeah. You know, like, um, right. I know radio people do that all the time. Like, oh, well, I'm an APD MD. And yeah. you're talking to people who are not in radio. Right. Uh-huh. And right. what that means is they're the assistant program director and the music director right. for the station. But, like, <laughs> not everybody knows what that means. Yeah. And so, like, when you're talking to somebody, you come up and you have a job that sounds so, like, generic. Can you explain to me? Because you're right. Yeah. What do you do? And even What does you, that mean? I ask them and they uh-huh. go, yeah. oh, well, we work with, uh, you know, we work with sales. Okay. Doing what? Great. Right. Yeah. Doing what? And <laughs> like even, even the follow up needs a follow up. And that's what I think too. Like even if you can explain the job and understand the job, you get to work, and then you go to your office. You sit down. What's the first thing you do? Like yeah. what do you actually do? If what's you watch, happening? If you watch certain <laughs> TV shows like Pawn Stars or whatever, they'll have right. a toy historian. Oh uh, yeah. Do you have an office? And then do you? Do you, is your first call to Mattel every yeah. day? <laughs> oh, just, just excuse me, I think that's just a hobby. <laughs> yes. If you're an historian of I agree. different toys. Like when I you see people on your, a TV show yeah. like that, and they're, I go, yeah, I don't they, think it's just a full time. Or just that a person, uh, like it, it'd be like talking to a guy who has been collecting stamps since he was a kid. So he has got a day job. And, yeah. Right, exactly. Okay. Or on disability or something. Right. Mm-hmm. And then what's that cookware mm-hmm. that you love, Sammy? Pyrex. Py- there's like, Seabass found a Pyrex expert. Like, she, right. she, what? <laughs> she we couldn't we were trying to get cause I found her because we wanted to do interview roulette and she's like oh no no I can't talk about that because uh, I I work at a museum and we can't talk about prices and stuff like that <laughs> what that might influence the market yeah or don't want to fix prices <laughs> so she works at a glass museum specializing in Pyrex history isn't that so strange what do you like what do you do is there I, enough people going to this museum to, exactly right, to keep it open yeah. which all goes back to the what do you do all day yeah, and it, you, and it's not a a loaded question or a mean question it's a curious question. I mean, the the, the, sub, the subtext is you probably don't work that hard. <laughs> yeah. If you're the Pyrex lady. Right. And then, Ravy, you mm. watch the Oscars every year, right? 
Sure. You know how they always have that one dude with the briefcase who works mm -hmm. for Price Waterhouse Coopers, oh, and he's right. the only one who knows what's in the envelopes and all that. He they trot him out on stage and he does a little speech. Okay, who are you? And what do you do all year? Why are you involved in the Oscars? What do you do all year? Well, that's uh, an accounting guy, the, the right? The accounting firm. But why yes. would an accounting? It's yeah. so weird. Well, because they audit stuff. Like I, I, right. I, I worked at a radio station that had this. They had an, uh, one like for a week. These people set up in a conference room and just box just after tabulate. box of paperwork, making sure that the yeah. radio because they were publicly traded, right. making sure yeah. we weren't being shysters. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Right. No, those people show up here too. Uh, seven three two says Deloitte's an accounting firm, one of the big four. Thank you. Which I guess means, yeah, what, like, so if you are a radio station or whatever business, you hire them to take care of your accounting, so. Yeah, yeah. okay. I guess. Yeah. yeah. I have a friend that worked at a bank, and <laughs> he does, like, international money exchange. I'm like, well, what do you do all day? He's like, ah, oh, somebody calls me up, and they want different money. Some dinar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, like, millions of dollars, and then I, the time, you know, make that happen. Half the time when people give me one of those, like, uh, generic-sounding you know, things that they do. They say, you know, whatever. I'm a consultant. Yeah. yeah, like something super generic. Yeah. I think to myself, is this someone who's really trying to fancy up some really basic, boring job? Oh, yeah. You know, like, uh, oh, I'm not a stripper. I'm an exotic <laughs> entertainer. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I'm, a, I'm, not a, I'm, I'm an environmental engineer. Well, you're a trash guy. Mm -hmm. You drive a garbage <laughs> truck. <laughs> right. You know, which is fine, mm -hmm. but people try to pretty up. And that's the, I mean, that's a new thing with titles now, too. Like Very dude, true. people people are so obsessed with titles. I mean, hell, we have yeah. on this show we have a quote director of social media. Yeah, okay, he's important. Well, That's just for fun. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not on his. Uh... Yeah, but Sammy is an executive producer. Well, oh yeah, because yeah. she comes in in a suit and tie every day, <laughs> <laughs> like a real executive. Yeah. Oh, see yeah. that that title is more for other people in the office and in the yeah. company. Because when you say executive producer, that means that's the go-to person. Go person. Yeah. She executes. For for the show, right? You know, so that's that's the uh, yeah. That's, it's it's the, a bit of a, a inflated title, though. And that's another yeah. good question about what do you do all day? Producer, movie producer. I'm sure they have a ton of stuff to do. Right. Oh, yeah. I right. just would love to know, like, we can call the guy I introduced to you to my party. He's a legit producer on Wrexham and on Always Sunny, and he can tell you what he does. Right. Yeah. What do you do all day, dude? And then when you see the credits, it says producer John Smith, produced by Bill Jones. <laughs> all right. Like, wouldn't the producer <laughs> produce it? Yeah. It's so, very confusing. Very yeah. confusing. Yeah. Eight seven seven forty four Woody. See, just another random thing on Greg's mind. Just, I just want to know what you. It do. is an interesting question. Well, what's the first yeah. thing you do when you yeah. work for the pork board? <laughs> yeah, and pork you board. get to your desk in the morning. Yeah, oh, we'll I have to turn that call about that uh, pork loin. We'll have to do another round of that. Uh, you know, what do you do and how much do you make? Where people call in and yeah. say what they do because that's a, that's the time where you get surprised. Seven out of ten times, you know what it is. You yeah. know what that job is, right? You know, but that three out of ten, it's one. It's that quite. What? What is that? Yeah. So what, when you go, to, what do you do today? Like, what? What's your job going to consist of today? Your responsibilities today are what? And they go, uh, well, oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they even have to try to think of like a way to explain what it is they do. Well, see, what I do is I get the orders from the customers and I give them yeah. to the engineers. Yeah. yeah. I'm a people person. <laughs> yes. Is that from Office Space? Yep. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>